Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by a German chess master Richard Teichmann. He was playing against several opponents who were consulting with each other. Teichmann started with e4, e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, the Italian game, but after knight f6, castling kingside, knight takes e4, d4, the game is transformed into a scotch gambit, e takes d4, rook e1, d5, bishop takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c3, queen h5, knight takes e4, bishop e7, bishop g5, bishop e6, which is a very passive looking move. A better move was bishop g4. If bishop takes e7, then bishop takes f3, doubling white's pawns. This looks more aggressive. But we see bishop e6 in the game. Bishop takes e7, knight takes e7, knight g3, queen h6, queen takes d4, black castles, rook a d1, knight c6, queen a4, rook a d8, and here comes a bad move by Teichmann, knight d4. Actually, this is losing a piece. Can you find the best move for black? Well, rook takes d4 is winning. If rook takes d4, then black has this amazing b5 move, deflecting the queen. If queen takes b5, then simply knight takes d4, or if Rook h4, then b takes a4, rook takes h6, g takes h6. Though black pawns are very weakened, but black has an extra piece and this is winning for black. But after knight d4, Teichmann's opponents missed that rook takes d4 move and instead they played knight takes d4. Rook takes d4, rook takes d4, queen takes d4, b6, queen e5 c5, f4, bishop c8, f5, bishop b7, queen e7, queen c6 threatening a checkmate on g2, rook e2, f6, knight e4, queen d5, knight d6, bishop c6, h3, c4, c3, h6, which is weakening black's king and now white is using that fact and plays king h2 b5 and here comes king g3 white king is going to g6 square after which white can checkmate black king but this king g3 move is not a good move a better move was queen e6 check Offering an exchange of queens and going for an endgame. If queen takes e6, then f takes e6 is very strong. Or if king h8, then queen takes d5, bishop takes d5, and knight takes b5. But we see this king g3 move, which allows black to equalize the game by playing queen d3 check. And now if rook e3, then queen f1, attacking the pawn on g2, and if rook e2 then h5 and you can't play king h4 because of this queen f4 check. But black just overlooked white's threat and played a5. Here comes king h4 and only now guessing that black is in trouble black played g6 but already it's too late. Here comes rook e3, queen takes g2, rook g3, queen f2 f takes g6 and now the threat is queen h7 checkmate queen f4 check rook g4 queen f2 check king h5 and black resigned because there is just no way to stop this white king if queen c5 check then king takes h6 queen e3 check you have to give up your queen simply queen takes e3 and white is winning